Hi, everybody. It's Jessica Stone at Stansberry Research, along with Brian Beach, the editor of Stansberry's Venture Value. And we're talking about the different tools that Washington is using this go round with the coronavirus crisis on the economy. And Brian, Washington is adding something this time to the bailout, right? Right. There's been trillions of dollars of programs announced, and a lot of that is similar to what we saw in 2008, 2009, corporate bailouts and, and macroeconomic stimulus. But there's also Main Street bailouts now is what we're calling it, but loans going directly to small businesses to help keep folks employed. It's a cash infusion directly into individual communities as opposed to more macroeconomic structures. And what do we know about the businesses that are taking advantage of the Paycheck Protection Program. It's been interesting to watch that, Jess. That's a great question because uh, the program was designed to help a lot of those businesses that the government shut down, including restaurants and hair salons. And the government literally said you can't go to those businesses. And so this was uh, supposed to stimulate and 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 allow uh, some loans to bridge until hopefully the end of the pandemic. Um, what we've been seeing is that the structure for the guidelines for who can apply for this is including all kinds of other businesses, including um, some hedge funds, for example, small hedge funds. Uh, we have a lot of small hedge funds uh, are my subscribers, our subscribers. I've been talking to some of them, a little bit controversial. That's clearly not the kind of companies that were uh, in mind, I think, when um, Congress swiftly uh, asked for this funding. And there's been some actually really significant pushback from some of the lenders that the government wants to distribute this money, right? That's right. So the way this works is the um, banking community is going to extend these loans kind of on, on behalf of the government, and then the government will guarantee them, guarantee the loans. But uh, there's been questions as to, you know, a little bit of trepidation. We've talked to some folks on our team have talked to some community banks that are pushing back a little bit. They don't understand that the guidelines aren't clear on if someone fraudulent, fraudulently procures a loan, uh, who's going to get left holding the bag, um, on the, and that kind of thing. The government is also trying to force these banks to um, do their due diligence a lot more quickly than they normally would. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I think that some of the banks, uh, while they support helping the communities, are, are looking for a little bit more time and guidance uh, before implementing the program. And are they getting that? I mean, how is the government responding to their concerns? I think that, you know that the dialogue is ongoing. Again, we've talked to um, the banks a couple of times, the various various sources we have, and you know the dialogue's ongoing. But the government wants this to happen, and is really kind of uh, sounds like just uh, putting pressure on the banking community to get these loans out and and help people keep their employees paid. I mean, it's going to be key to really watch how quickly this is rolled out and and how it's rolled out because it, it sounds to me like they're going to have to tweak it as they go, right? You know, that's right. And and we're watching that carefully. A, a lot of you talked about the different type of stimulus money and, and what we, we were seeing a lot of similar stimulus packages to what we saw in 2008, 2009. And the government kind of learned on ways to refine those processes. And that is working more or less smoothly. But this is a totally new kind of uh, stimulus package. And everyone's learning on the fly, the lenders, the government, even the borrowers. And so yeah, we're definitely, you've got to keep your eye on that as someone who's got your um, uh, your eye on the markets and uh, the, your eye on the economy. And that's that's what our job is here. All right, Brian Beach, I'm sure you'll be writing much more about this. And I understand there's a new avenue for you to write about that in something called the Jubilee Project that other analysts and editors are, are participating in as well. But for those of you who are watching us on YouTube, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'd love to also have you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Brian, thanks so much for joining us.